Hey guys, what's going on? Give him and I got another review for you here. Good song here. Jason Aldean. She's country. It's a good song. But, uh, gift review for the day. Hang on, it's in my pocket. Let me get it. Timberwolf. Timberwolf pouches. Let me get a spit. Timberwolf pouches. Got this. It was like a dollar thirty from uh, one of the convenience stores up there. Plastic can. What's really neat, and I don't know what this is for. If someone can tell me, I'd really appreciate it. See here, this lid it says a uh, disposable lid, and what this does is it pops off. And I don't know what it does. Here's the can, though. Let's put that back on there. Pretty cool. Timberwolf mint. Had a pouch in for a while, just one. This is what they look like. Woo! A very strong, but, uh, Pleasant mint, not overpowering. Very good, pleasant mint. And I actually think what this lid is for is you can take like three or four pouches or whatever and you can put them inside of here and close it. That way you don't have to keep opening this lid up and uh, uh, like it keeps it, it keeps it fresher if it's inside of here. Whereas you can take six pouches or so. And put them up here if you're going to be dipping them for that day, and not having to ruin the freshness of the of the pouch. So, very good smell, very good mint. Um, it doesn't smell as strong as Grizzly mint pouches did. The taste on this is pretty darn good. Uh, it tastes like a. Tastes like a extra mint gum. If you've had that extra gum, extra mint, that's what it tastes like. I just got a pouch down here. It tastes like bubble gum. It tastes like mint gum. Very, not very strong. Um, kind of got a chill to it, you know, a coolness uh, in the mouth, and it's definitely, uh, definitely a good beginner. Uh, definitely a good beginner's dip if you're not used to getting long cut and you're not looking for something that's gonna shit that's not gonna drive you over the edge or you know make you throw up or anything. Uh, pretty good, pretty good here actually. Um, so we have the can. Like I said, let's go. Let's start over with the can here. It's all plastic, uh, top and bottom. Uh, Timberwolf pouches, and it says 15 pouches up here. 15 mint pouches. Doesn't really say much uh, else about it. There's no expiration date, just some codes up here. Uh, we do have the disposable lid, which I think you just, if you don't want to keep opening the can and allowing you know air to get in there and ruin the freshness, you can just open it once, take a few pouches out, put them inside of here, and. Uh, Snap your lid on, that way, you know, if you want to get a dip, you don't have to mess around. You just pop it open, get you one, throw it in, put the lid back on. Got a camo mud jug here. Probably seen in my other videos. Good beginner dip. Definitely do get a mini taste, especially right when you put it in. It's almost an instant uh, taste. The pouches themselves. Very, very moist pouches. They're not dry. There, if you give them a little squeeze, or you get juice on your on your fingers. It smells very, very minty. Um, so good pouches, good pouches. Very moist. Very good tasting of a mint in that. Uh, I've had this thing in for uh, twenty minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still get a good juice. Speaking of the juice on these pouches, 
the juice isn't bad tasting. The juice actually tastes like a mint. Um, there's really, I don't really get a taste of any tobacco inside of this at all. There's really no tobacco taste. It's just mint. A very strong mint. But like I said, not enough to make you sick. Mm. Got this, like I said, at the convenience store for about a dollar and a half or so. Dollar thirty. Yeah, excuse me. Dollar and a half, I bet. I think is what it was. Uh, so pretty good mint if you want to do that. I, I prefer mint other than wintergreen. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm chewing pouches, they're a lot easier on, on your on your uh, gums than they are than any of the fine cut or long cut or anything else. So the mint is really mint is really easy on your gums. So yeah, that's basically the review for this. It's a really good mint for beginners. It's Timberwolf. You can probably pick it up at any store. I don't I don't know if Walmart carries them. Uh, I don't think they do where I work. But very good at any you can pick it up at any convenience store, very cheap. Uh, okay quality, but if you're looking for something like a natural tobacco taste or any tobacco taste at all, don't I wouldn't recommend getting this. Uh, presentation of the can, it's a pretty cool can, got a little wolf up there, uh, blue, I give that a what, mm, 5 out of 10, I'd say, it's not in real fancy, you see, uh, far as, I mean, this is pretty cool, though. the can is pretty cool, actually, I might give that a 6, because they're pretty smart, they got a good idea right there, uh, for this, taste-wise, the smell, the smell is definitely good, I love the smell of mint, it smells, it smells just like mint gum, and it actually pretty good, pretty good. The taste of it tastes just like you're chewing bubble gum, just like you're chewing like extra mint gum or or any kind of mint gum. It tastes exactly like that. So very, very good. Um, give that about a seven out of ten. It's pretty good for it being a such a cheap, cheap uh, price. It's actually really good. Price is definitely good. Ten out of ten. You know, a dollar and a half for this, excellent. Uh, that's it for this review, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about Timberwolf or anything else, uh, I mean, the can does have a deal you can get on too. It says go to www.timberwolfsnuff.com. Uh, and it says also that this is 50% domestic grown tobacco. So half of it's, what, American tobacco, and the other half is somewhere else and the, the, the can doesn't say what other country tobacco is from but anyway thanks for uh, watching you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. it's very very good you should definitely go pick this up if you're a beginner and you like mint